Five nerfs that need to happen in the game. If I had a magic wand and could do any five changes, these are the five nerfs that I would make. And maybe you'll disagree with some of them, but I think all of us will definitely, definitely agree on a few of these changes. And maybe in the last part of the video, we'll get into some Hades shotgun gameplay. But let's start at number five, orbital strikes. So not just orbital support in general, but the Orion especially. Remember, when orbital support was revealed by, by Pixonic. They said it was going to be a very minor part of the game when only, you know, it wouldn't affect huge parts of the game. But right now, the Orion is affecting huge parts of the game. So to start, why it's problematic, it deals too much damage. You can literally one hit lower levels, lower leveled robots and titans, which is ridiculous. It recharges way too quickly. Players are using it way too frequently. And then the delay before each strike is too short. So when I hit the Orion button and fired at an enemy, it only takes two seconds to hit the enemy. That means they have two seconds to get out of that radius and avoid the blast. It has to be a longer duration. So my suggestion, right off the bat, decrease the damage by 15%. Increase the charge time so it takes longer to charge up so players aren't constantly spamming the Orion. And then increase the delay of each strike from when you hit the button to when it actually lands at, you know, on the enemy from two seconds to three and a half seconds. It seems like a very small margin, but it would make a big difference. So that's number five. Agree or disagree. Next might be a, bit, a little bit more surprising, but the blinding weapons and especially, of course, the dazzler and lantern weapons. So to start... There's not enough counters to the target malfunction. That's what makes these weapons so annoyingly good is that you really can't counter the target malfunction unless you either have an Aegis shield or a physical shield. Aegis shields just aren't very strong in the game. No one has hundreds of thousands of HP of Aegis shield and no one runs physical shields anymore. The only actual somewhat meta robot that has physical shields are Arthurs, and no one's running Arthurs in Champion League. So it's like, man, if reflectors, resistance, healing, if none of that can stop target malfunctioning, then it has to be adjusted somehow. Again, the range is too far. I don't know why these weapons can fire at 600 meters, but then they can also be good at like 200 meters on a luchador. It really does not make sense. Pixonic fix it. And then the damage isn't crazy by the weapons, but I wouldn't mind them taking a little bit of damage, maybe like 5, 10% off the top. Just trim a little bit off the top. And my suggestion, this one is the most important and it's very simple. Anti-control effect, anti-control modules should stop target malfunctioning. It's very simple. That's my, that's my number one suggestion. The nerf the range, that can be done too. But the most important thing is just make anti-control modules actually prevent target malfunctioning. It would make it so much easier to face robots with these weapons. And that's it. Agree or disagree with these changes, with these suggestions. All right, number three, the Kepri. The Kepri is, I think most people would agree, the most powerful and most durable and the best overall robot in the game. And it does have to be adjusted a bit because it's overpowered. It's the best robot in the game, man. So, yeah, blatantly, it's too good at everything. It has, it heals, it's fast, it's very difficult to hit, it has good firepower. Like, in this day and age, four light weapons is a ton of firepower, especially with, you know, the toxin and the blaze and the scatter. It's a lot of damage. And, yeah, to be more specific, the speed, difficulty to hit, increased defense points that it gets. So, my suggestion, you know, with the Eldritch Kepri, Players all of a sudden just got 10% more durability. So a nerf of 15% durability is really not that big a deal. So nerf 15% or decrease the dam decrease the bonuses. So when you get that damage bonus, the movement speed, the repair, when you're using your ability, I wouldn't mind if they just decreased all those a little bit and then made the ability cool down 7 to 12 seconds. 7 seconds is nothing seven seconds to use your ability so i don't know pick one of these or all these i think these changes should go to the capri i think it would make it a lot more balanced and maybe it wouldn't be absolutely dominating players are running three to four of these in their hangar right now like this is worse than the favnir meta this is the capri meta and we're living in it 
Next, no one is going to be surprised that these items are on the list. The curving bullets, the homing bullets, the Cremola, Razda, and what's the other one? Smuta. Very blatantly, let's start with the range is too far, but that's not even the worst part about them. The 500 meter range allows people to sit back and camp with the weapons, especially on like their sirens or harpies, and then, you know, teleport back to where they came from, which makes it extremely hard to counter. And then the curving me mechanic is just way too effective. Not only is it like, not only does it help your aim, you could be an absolute loser with your aiming. You could start playing yesterday and you're aiming these weapons and you could still hit the enemy because they literally home in on enemies. But then you can also just curve them around cover. Like, I don't even I don't even have to explain why they're so powerful. It just seems really dumb and Pixonic has to adjust that somehow. So my suggestions, first up, nerf the range from 500 meters to 400 meters. So make them more of a brawling type weapon. And then just make the weapons less accurate. Make actual manual aiming more important to use the weapons. And remember, that new legendary pilot is going to come out soon that's going to make these things ignore defense systems. So you got to adjust them before they just completely take over the game. Man, they're so annoying. Man, I'm getting heated. I'm going to I'm going to lose my voice after this. And then number 1, this problem is is the worst problem especially because it's been around for so long now and there's been zero adjustments to it. The drone shielding. This I, drone shielding sucks so bad. To start, it's just way too effective. It, the cooldown is way too short. It's a five second cooldown. So if I shoot at you, trigger your absorber shield, and then it goes off, another five seconds later, it will go on again. It's so dumb. It's so, so dumb. Also take away the shield breaking pilots on the Siren, Harpy, and Favnir. There shouldn't be, it's so dumb when Pixonic makes these things like, oh, let's put drone shielding into the game, but then also make pilots that break through the shields. So then we're like indirectly just buffing the robots with those pilots. It's making it way too complicated. Cut out all this crap that we don't want. And then my suggestion, delete the absorber shield chips completely, the F types. I think the energy shields and the easy shields I wouldn't mind if those stayed, but the absorber shields are ridiculous because you can't break through them unless you have a shield breaker pilot or the shield breaker module, which nobody uses and needs to be buffed. And then increase the cooldown from five to 15 seconds. That's a huge increase. That's three times increase on the cooldown. But man, I don't know what to say. It, the drone shielding has been around for so long and so many people have complained about it, but there's no solution or... I mean, they haven't proposed a solution, even though a lot of people have. So I don't know. What do you guys think about this list? What is the most annoying thing to you? This is my list. Drone shielding, curving bullets, Kepri, blinding weapons, and orbital strikes. That's my list. Would you change the order? Would you add things in? Maybe like healing can be really annoying, phase shifts, active modules, whatever. Let me know in the comments. And now let's get into some Hades gameplay. Let's do it. Okay, guys, we have loaded up our composite Hades, and we're going to drop it in first here on Power Plant. And we have our new shotguns on here. What, what's going on? Why are we... Okay, there we go. We took a little bit there. But, man, this composite Hades is, like, the coolest-looking robot in the game. And look at these shotguns. This thing looks so awesome. It looks like it's straight out of Pacific Rim. We also have our whiteout drone, because I'm assuming we're going to have to get close here. Bro, what is my teammate Ares running? He's got one... I guess he doesn't have an extra Razda, that's why. That's a... Oh! Bo oh, we didn't get the kill. We did not get the the kill. There's a guy on the enemy team named... Oh, our team named Chicken Squisher. He's a leech. Oh, now we... Okay, he used his leech ability, but he's too low health, man. That Tango guy, we just annihilated. Jeez, this Tango guy might be lower level. He's dropping in. That seemed like... He doesn't seem like he knows what he's doing. And now he's got his old Leo in there. Double kill. The difference it makes if you have one, just one player that's low level on your team, it completely screws your whole team over. We have a five cap and we're like one minute into the game. Uh-oh, we're taking damage. We're taking damage. 
I need my shield, my ability. Okay, there we go. Boom, man, look at these weapons. Rampage, these weapons just smoke through any kind of physical shield. And I guess I misspoke a little bit earlier. Godlike, beyond godlike, when I said that no robots have physical shields, because I guess the Revenant and Shellbot do have physical shields, but they're not strong shields whatsoever. They break very easily. So they're not going to be able to stop Dazzler and Lantern for long periods of time. Oh, okay, we finally got taken out. Man, we have a five cap. This game might be like two minutes long. We're rolling in, we're moving in. Man, that Tango guy is now dropping in a kid. I don't know how he's in this game. Guy is an expert league. Boom, kill, double kill. That is it. That was like a record-breaking short game. All right, I guess that's going to be it. That is the Shotgun Hades. Very quick game. But also, guys, let me know what you think about those suggested nerfs. Until next time, peace. SpaghettiO Chicken. They're also down one player. See you guys next time.